Hello world and welcome to Kona After Effects Ascend the Script series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add your script inside of After Effects. So I'm going to create a simple program or a simple script that just says hello inside of a alert box or something. Run it. Something come up in a alert box in After Effects. So this is working. But let's say for the sake of the tutorial, this script is done. I don't want to add any more to it. I want to now use this for my own personal use or I want to give it to a team member. If I want to access it inside of After Effects, places you would go will be inside a file and you access it from your script menu. Or you might go to your Windows and you access it from your window menu. So in able to put it inside of the, one of those two menus, you have to save it inside of your script folder inside of your After Effects program. So if I go on the file and I go to save as, I got to now search for that program, the After Effects program inside of my computer. So I will go inside my PC go inside my C drive program files Oop. Adobe and I'm usually working with 2017 so I'll go inside 2017 support file and then finally down the script so if you look at what we have here these are the same scripts that you've seen earlier in that script menu so change render location if I go inside here file again go to script you can see change render location and we also have these folders in here this first folder we have if you save your script inside of the script UI panel then if you go inside of After Effects you'll be able to access your script inside the window menu if you place it in the shutdown folder once you shut your after effects program down then this menu i mean then this script will then activate and same thing with the startup if you start up after effects and you have your file inside the startup folder then once you start it up it's going to activate that script and to prove this, I'm going to save it in my startup. I'm also going to save it in my UI panel. And also, if you save it here, this is going to show in your script sub menu inside of your file menu. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to call it one test. And I add a one to the name in the beginning of it. For access reason and I'll go a little bit in more details and why later on so I'm going to save it here first as one test but when I try to save it here uh, I guess they have a problem with it because it's inside of my program files it's not giving me access or permission to save it here so I'm going to put no so it doesn't save it inside my document folder I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to go to give access to. I'm going to go to security and I'm going to scroll down, click on users and click on edit right here. And yes, of course. And I'm going to click on users over here and I'm going to click on this right. This is going to give me the ability to actually save inside of this folder. So I'm going to push OK, OK, save. And I'm going to go back into save as. And I'm going to save this inside of my startup. This way, once I start the program up, this script should run. Also, I'm going to save it sit and go to save as again. And I'm going to save this inside of my script UI panels. This is going to help me access it from the Windows menu. save and 
if I go back into After Effects and try to look for this script right now, as you can see, it's not showing up. If you're adding a new script to After Effects in that folder, if you already have After Effects already running, then it's not going to see it. You're going to have to close the program down and then restart it for it to update the script. So exit out of that. Oops. and once it opened again as you can see the alert box come up and this is because I saved it in the startup folder and if I go over here one test is now in there and if I go inside my windows menu and I scroll all the way down and you see one test is also there now so we are able to access this from both my file menu and also my windows menu but that's still a lot of work and I don't want to go through all that just to run this script I want better access to it and if I wanted to I can also add a shortcut this way I don't have to always go to this Windows or file menu and able to run my script and to do that I'm going to go down to preference inside my edit menu and go to general and I'm going to click on this reveal preference in Explorer and in here there's this file that is um, used to change or set your shortcuts in After Effects so if I double click in here and I control F to bring up my fine um, function menu, I don't know what to call this. And inside here, I'm just going to type in uh, script, find next, and this is good enough. And right here, you see that we have execute script, execute menu item one, and there's these uh, parentheses right here. And inside these parentheses, you can add a shortcut that can easily access your script. And if your script is the first item in the script menu and you have a shortcut right here, then this is going to access that first script. So I'm going to go ahead and write my own shortcut and I'm just going to copy this to make it quicker for me. And I'm going to put A. Now, the biggest problem with me just putting Control Alt A, this is already a shortcut inside of After Effects. So if I copy this by selecting and pushing Control C and then push Control F, and paste it in here and look for it that's not it uh, super windows go back up as you can see this is the shortcut for select all visible keyframes so that's a problem anytime you're creating a new shortcut you want to use your find option to make sure that this shortcut is not used anywhere else or it might create conflict so, I already know that Control Alt D is not being used, and I'm just going. So this is the shortcut I'm going to end up using for my first item. So I'm going to copy this. Oh, let me go back. Script cancel and I'm going to paste that right here and if I save it exit out of here exit out of that get rid of that and now if I try to use control alt D nothing happened so the same thing with editing a shortcut or adding a new shortcut to your uh, After Effects program 
you're gonna have to exit out and then restart the program for it to work so I'm gonna exit out of here start up After Effects again something appeared again now if I push control D I'm able to get this alert box and that's it that's how you add your script inside of After Effects and that's also how you get your shortcut for it if you enjoyed this video or you learned something check out my other videos until the next time peace out world